Hey everyone, welcome back to Brown Coat Nerd. Today we're going to be looking at the KSD grips for your CZ 82 or 83, which is what we have in front of us today. Real quick, I want to remind everyone to please go check out my Rumble as well as my Instagram. And now back to our review. So if you guys have watched any of my videos on the 82 or 83, you've kind of heard me complaining about how fat the grips are and how I really wish that lock grips would come out with some G10 grips for them. Um, I did email them about it. Uh, they said they've already got a list of potential buyers. Once so many people bug them basically about it, saying they want grips made, they'll eventually make those grips. The uh, 82 slash 83 has not gotten to that point yet. And I just kind of started thinking on my 83 here with this satin finish, wood grips would just look a little bit better on this guy. So I'm still holding out for some grips on my 82. Um, I decided to go ahead and go with some wood grips to kind of class up the look of the 83 since it has this nice finish on it. Now KSD does make a few different grip patterns for this gun. This one is kind of the fish scale or dragon scale pattern. And I feel like this would be the best as far as adding a little bit extra grip. Because the factory grips on these, they do have checkering, but they are not the most aggressive. Um, so I figured this pattern would add a little bit benefit to it. And the main thing I was going for is just kind of class up the look of it a little bit. Now, I don't really like changing out things on my surplus guns. Once again, this is the 83. The 82 is kind of more of the surplus gun. This was sold off um, by Classic Firearms as being police surplus. Can't really necessarily prove that in any way. Um, but also, grips are pretty easy to change back to the originals. If you guys watch my videos, you know I've upgraded quite a few grips on different surplus guns of mine so that's an easy fix it's nothing permanent so i'm kind of okay with that um now a while back i was on ebay and these grips did pop up as like a recommended thing you might like or something along those lines and i was like yeah i, I might like those really like the look of the wood like i said on the satin finish 83 here so i decided to go ahead and order some now they're 48 dollars before shipping um, they ended up being 73 bucks after shipping, so shipping added on quite a bit. Um, I did order them from Special Gun Grips. They got here fairly fast. Um, I was a little concerned about that at first, because for the longest time I did not get any shipping updates. And then like a day before they were supposed to show up, all of a sudden all the shipping updates updated. Um, and it kind of went on a tour. It went from like Texas to New Jersey or New York and then back to Texas and then back to the East Coast again. And then they finally found their way to the Midwest. Um, but all said and done, I think shipping time was like maybe a little less than a week. It wasn't too long. So I, I was happy with that. I was a little concerned when the box showed up. They were wrapped in bubble wrap. I've seen some of these KSD grips come in like nice plastic packaging with the KSD logo on them. These were just in bubble wrap in a box, and that box had been ripped open. There was no top to this box at all whatsoever. Uh, so by some miracle, I guess it was enough bubble wrap um, in there. It, it kept it in the box, um, and there did not appear to be any damage. Um, once again, not really special gun grips fall on that. I owe that one up to the USPS. Um, not sure what happened. I don't... I know these grips are made in Turkey, so I don't know if they originally came in from Turkey and Customs ripped that open, but I didn't see any kind of Customs sticker on there, um, which you will see. And I've, I've had that experience from time to time um, when ordering stuff out of country. So don't know what happened, but by a miracle, they did show up in one piece. Um, like I said, KSD does make some different kind of texture patterns. I forget what this was actually called. The model number on the inside of the grip for these is CZ5-1, just so you know. Also, another thing, if you're looking at getting wood grips for your 82 or 83, go check out Marshall Grips. I completely forgot they made grips for these. Um, at one point in time, I did come across that they did, and I was like, oh, that'd be a nice upgrade. Kind of forgot about it. Um, and I think it was like late at night. I was going to the bathroom when the little thing popped up on eBay, so it was kind of one of those not really thinking with the most clear head, just ordered it because they looked cool. All in all, I am pretty happy with my purchase. Um, the Marshall Grip ones, uh, I think those start at like 60 or 70 bucks. They have quite a few different patterns. They have different stains and finishes you can select from. They also have different wood material to choose from as well. 
So you got quite a few options. Uh, I do believe KSD did have some different options on these as well. I, I remember seeing one as the exact same pattern, but it was more of a kind of a dark red finish. And I felt like the brown finish would look better against the, uh, the satin finish of the gun. So that's the route I went. Um, the overall fit of these grips, I got these basically just hoping to class up the look of my 83 a little bit. And I was hoping that this kind of dragon scaling there would add a little bit more to the texture. Cause like I said, the original ones aren't the most grippiest. And these do add some more grip. It's nothing super aggressive. Um, and they are definitely better than the factory original plastic ones. Another thing I was not expecting is, um, I did some measurements. We'll go over the measurements here in a moment, but this thins out the feel quite a bit compared to the original grips. Now you've heard me complain about the original grips, how this is built up so much right here. You really can't get to the mag release with your thumb. And while it might, I can kind of touch the mag release now, I still need to reach over with my right uh, hand and just hit it from the other side here. Reach over from my right hand. Reach over with the, the finger and hit it from the right side. Um, obviously I'm using my right hand. Um, so you, you do still have to do that, but the overall feel does thin it out quite a bit, even though they're not actually that much thinner from the original grips. So that was a big plus. Um, and then a few spots you can see, like right here, the grip panel doesn't quite come out all the way to the edge. Back here, it stops short just a little bit. You can barely even feel it or see it. This side does a much better job of that. Kind of comes short just a hair up there by the mag release button on this side, not so much. Real minor differences. I believe these are handmade in Turkey. So little deviations like that, it's kind of to be expected. But like I said, overall, these grips feel really nice in the hands. I was really impressed um, with how much of an upgrade these actually did give to the feel. Like I said, I was just kind of doing that to upgrade the look of this CZ83. So I was pretty happy with that. The measurements on it, um, the top section, the little recessed section up here, um, kind of your thumb rest spot, that measured out to, on these stock grips, 28 millimeters. And then on this KSD grip, they measured at 27.2 millimeters. So not a big difference at all, but you can definitely feel it. And then the body of the grip at its widest point, not much of a difference. The factory grips came to 32.8 millimeters and these KSD wood grips came to 32.3. So once again, they are thinner, but not much. However, back here in this portion, and I don't know if I've shown it on here, but everything has been safety checked. Um, I've got one panel off on the 82. And you can't really see it, I don't think, but I feel like this is rounded out quite a bit more. So it comes down a little bit quicker. And holy cow, it just I cannot explain enough how nice these grips feel um, compared to the stock grips on the 82 or 83. Another thing I wanted to point out is, according to the book, Cold War Pistols of Czechoslovakia by James Brown, I've ref referenced this book several times before. It's not a thick book. You don't have a whole lot of pages in there, but there is a lot of information that you cannot find online. I've shared some of that information. At times that information has been a little controversial with people. And of course, books you can't update like the internet. So that is the downside of books. One of the things was like production years of the CZ 82 at the time that book came out. Um, I forget what year it was, but he hadn't seen any, um, from a certain year. So there was contemplation if the production had actually stopped early. Um, whereas since that book was printed, um, several batches of CZ 82s that were made in those years have come in. A lot of people have commented and I do appreciate those comments because that's what this channel is about. I'm, I don't care if I look stupid, if I'm putting out wrong information, I want to be corrected. Uh, I want this channel to be a resource of good information. Um, but I had several people comment saying, no, they actually did have CZ 82s that were made in that year. And I completely believe and they have no reason for lying. Another thing that book points out is the two different kinds of grip panels. And I didn't know about that. And the picture they show in there um, shows kind of the line coming down pretty close to this screw hole. 
And if you look at these two, they're they're pretty similar. However, this one, I think it's this one, yeah, might come down just a hair closer, I'm trying to get it in the light here, than this one. The picture they show, it's even more so. But the reason I want to point that out, as I discovered, these are the grips that originally came on the 83. These are the grips that originally came on my 82 X grade from AIM Surplus. And as you can see, these are the upgraded grips that I took off the 83. They have a lot more material added right there compared to these ones, which they had a big issue with these ones breaking. And if you guys have watched my video on my CZ82, um, yeah, it did break. Now, interestingly, one of the spots it broke is there was a little plastic ridge that went all the way up here. Whereas on the upgraded grips, it doesn't even go up that far. <laughs> it's like they knew it was going to break, so they didn't put it up that far at all. Um, and I guess they cracked back here quite a bit, which I don't have that issue with these ones. But they've added a lot more material in the later style grips. So one thing to point out, um, even though these grips pretty much look similar, and if you're like me and knew the... Um, the older style came down a lot closer to that screw hole. Do you know there's kind of like an in-between period where it did not come down as close to that screw hole, but they still did not have that added material back there. So I did want to point that out to you. Um, let's see. Uh, went over the specs on it and the weight. So using, oh, I still got a grip panel on the 82 using the cheapest digital scales that I could find on Amazon. Also, it's worth pointing out that the thickness, I did use the cheapest digital calipers I could find on Amazon, so I hope those are accurate enough for what we're using here. I'm just trying to kill time <laughs> while I take off this other grip panel, which is a perfect thing because that just reminded me, when you're taking these off, um, pull your hammer back, Obviously, make sure it's empty, but pull your hammer back and put the safety up. Because when you have the safety down, it kind of locks the top portion of that grip in place. Flip the safety up, and it's going to come off a lot easier. Same thing for putting the grips back on, um, especially if you got some new wood grips and you don't want to scratch them up. So the KSD wood grips, I'd already weighed those. Those came to 0.9 ounces, and those are the lightest out of these grips. The upgraded grip panels that came off my 83 originally those come in at 1.2 ounces and then the original style grip panels without the reinforcement that came off my 82 imagine these might just be a hair lighter and they aren't uh, also coming at 1.2 ounces so the plastic grips just a skosh heavier than the wood KSD grips. Um, also want to point out that the mags, I still have no issue with them dropping free with the wood grips on here compared to my plastic grips. And if you're having issues with the mags dropping free on your uh, 82 or 83, Try different mags. I do have at least one mag that does not like to drop free. Oddly, well, let me rephrase that. That mag will drop free when there's no ammo in it. And um, when there is ammo in it, it will not drop free. So I guess it drops free when you need it to. Whereas my other two mags drop free um, from both old and new grip panels and the wood grips, uh, regardless if they are loaded or unloaded. So I thought that was kind of weird. Wanted to point that out. Like I said, that seems to be a mag issue. So these wood grips don't really have any issue with snagging um, up the mags dropping free. Like I said, they are very light. And you can see that there is a little bit of flex there. So I, to be honest, I have not shot this gun yet with the wood grips on there. Um, I imagine they'll hold up. There's quite a few reviews on these KSD grips. I think specifically for the 82 and 83. But it is a pretty light wood material. Um, like I said, a lot of these older style kind of surplus wood grips do come out of Turkey, um, specifically from KSD. So I think it is a decent brand. Um, but like I said, definitely check out the Marshall grip options. They have a little bit wider variety to choose from as far as uh, stains and wood types. 
And f I believe those are also US made. So a little bit better there in my opinion too. I just didn't think about it late night ordering. And I mean, to be honest, I'm, I'm still very happy with these grips. I think it's a nice upgrade. <laughs> there we go. To the, uh, the factory plastic grips. Not only a little bit more aggressive uh, texturing, a little more grippiness there, but thinning it out really freaking nice. Um, and then I think the looks are absolutely drop dead gorgeous, especially on the satin finish compared to these black plastic ones. So I just wanted to share you guys my two cents on the KSD grips for the CZ82 and 83. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. And of course, as always, stay safe and stay shiny.